Hi, this is the part two of the introduction to data structure and calculate the complexity and all. In the previous video, we did discussed about uh, the importance of data structure in a program and how you're gonna calculate the complexity of your program, both the space and the time complexity so that uh, you will de decide which data structure or which algorithm to use for your program or for your problem. So on this video, we'll continue to see the uh, time complexity things like some examples which ever have not been covered by the previous one. So let's jump into the video. So here we'll see in which scenario the, the execution of a program will be a logarithmic output. So if the time is going to take is a logarithmic way. And if you ever saying it's log n, means it's by default its base is 2 okay so what i am doing here is uh, i have a value as n and it is a hundred thousand and what i'm doing here is we have assigned a as one so the loop will going to run till a is less than n and inside the while loop we are incrementing a value by twice so if suppose first a is 1 then it will become 2 then it become 4 then it become 8 then it become 16 then it become 32 like that we are increasing the count and you are console logging here so i will show you now i will run the application so here you can see it's rained for four time okay and that is n is 10 now i will increase the value to 100 and i will run the application again it rained seven times that means only three iteration more and we increase the value 10 times here okay so here as i already told you like what is happening so i have assigned suppose a equals to one in the first iteration a become two okay now suppose we are n here is 100 okay so i will try to uh, draw the graph here okay so suppose we start with n n equals to 10 for n equals to uh, 10 how much steps we need each uh, first one then it's become 4 then it become 8 when n equals to 10 we, we have just ran four times now if i make n to 100 what how much time it should increase is it will become 16 then it will become 32 then it will become 64 then it will become 128 okay so first here it should be 0 1 2 3 4 so five steps sorry i have i am wrong so it's five step then again it's increasing to 128 so after the 16 so only three step has been increased so five to eight so if you say here i'm, I'm not able to write because it's a very sm small space uh, so suppose it's eight so it's increasing only this much uh, okay so if you if you go from down your 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 graph will be like this so this is what a logarithmic graph will be so uh, as you keep on increasing your input at some hundred times or thousand times but your iteration will not be increased because it's getting multiplied by two or three or some values so the famous example will be your binary search so binary search has a time complexity of big o of uh, log n so now we'll we'll go to uh, a time complexity of n square which is popular okay so uh, while programming you will tends to uh, do it in a n square operation okay the example i have written here is a bubble sort i have written a bubble sort is little little complicated for a beginner so uh, I, i'll write one suppose you are writing a for loop it's running till n okay and inside that you have another for loop which is again running uh, from 0 to n okay so for every i it's going to add the j here so for every i it's coming inside and running for j amount of time suppose i equals to 3 and j equals to 2 this thing will going to run two times plus second time also it's things we're going to run two times 
plus third time this thing I'm going to run for two times what it will do is 2 plus 2 plus 2 so that it's equal to 2 into 3 okay so it's n into m you can say n into m uh, as big o of n m if it's uh, different so there are some uh, complexities or maybe some time complexity which is popular or what or which uh, you may come across your day to day life that e that is some some more prime complexity present so here we are going to discuss about 2 to the power n and the n factorial so 2 to the power n is also known as exponential okay so if you increase the number of uh, inputs so if the n is increasing it will increase uh, like exponentially for example we'll check a, a string of abc okay so this string has a three value uh, so two three means n here will be three okay so now two to the power n will be two to the power three that will be eight what is the two to the power n is uh, finding the combination in a string so that's the example of two to the power two to the power n or that's the exponential thing exponential complexity so if you check here you have in abc first of all you have empty string that's for uh, default for all now you have a b c obviously then you have a combination will be a of a and b so a b then b c then c a then a b c so if you count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so we got all the value so this is what a 2 to the power n will be so it it will increase exponentially so suppose you make uh, the uh, string as a, a b c d now it will be to the power 4 that is 16 you should avoid exponential time complexity you should avoid factorial time complexity so the factorial time complexity is the uh, next one that what we are going to discuss the factorial time complexity is also known as n factorial so the best the best example will be a recursion method so what it will do it will, it will keep on calling itself and the number of amount of time you are calling it need to add it add it up again so that's become n factorial and now this graph will be a little steeper okay so it will be look like this we will take the same example here okay a b c but uh, for uh, for finding n factor now the n is 3 so 3 factorial will be around so 1 into 2 into 3 is equal to 6 then you may say supra this is smaller than the 2 to the power n but the catch here is we are not going to find the permutation or find the factorial uh, complexity for all the digits so we'll find the combination of the value only for the those lengths okay and again the exponential is the combination and the factor is the permutation if you try to find the factorial of suppose now if you increase the value to 4 uh, this is to be 4 factorial okay so now it will be 4 so 6 into 4 it will be 24 okay so now if you go for a string of uh, value a b c d you have 24 uh, different permutation so uh, what i will suggest never go for factorial time complexity that's it for today guys so today we saw uh, different type of time complexity and which is good which is bad and how to deal with them and oh, basically some examples so you will get to know a little more about time complexity and how to think according to time complexity when you go further on the series so uh, uh, and the next video will be about the dynamic array and what is the difference between static and a dynamic array so please subscribe to the channel and hit that bell icon so that you will be get notified when i'll post this video or the future video which is coming up and if you are liking the video till now please give a thumbs up and if you are liking my work and want to support me you can support me on the patreon i will give the link in the description below and lastly 
please do share this video with your friends and family so we are going to meet in the next video and that will be on dynamic programming so till that stay happy bye bye